Welcome to my Canvas shell. This is my demo shell where I like to show faculty interesting ways to use Canvas. Today we're going to talk about working with pages in Canvas. Uh, pages are basically HTML or web pages that you can place into your course. If you'll notice right here, I am showing you my home page and it is a page with pictures and text in the middle here and I've got some links. If I click on the pages menu on the left side of the course and then click view all pages this blue button up here I can get a list of all the pages that are in my canvas course and I can look at some other pages. Uh, let's take for example completion of the orientation let's see what's on that page. Okay so here's another page Okay, you'll notice you can bold, you can make links. Let's, let's check one more page out. And I think I have one with a video in here too. So let's see. Here it is. So here's a page with videos. And you can add all sorts of styles. Here's a PowerPoint. And we can talk about different ways to create pages. But really, this is the heart of, and these are just different styles of power, PowerPoints and different ways to edit. You know, there are different styles of pages that you can create. And your goal is to use pages for many reasons, right? So you can tie all these things together. You can build kind of a chapter to your units. It can go from one page to the next. And it's really the most foundational element in your module, okay, or in your course. Uh, another reason we like pages is that they absorb the system style guides. Now, you may not think that's really exciting, but the style guides are what keeps things compliant with um, uh, ADA compliance. And also, it, it makes things unified for the user. So you, you, don't, you can think less about, is my design you know, clear to the students, you've got a kind of a standard format. And then I also talked about ADA compliance, so let's talk about that a little bit. So when we're talking about ADA compliance, it's important that we know what it is, okay? So uh, if you're not familiar with it, uh, the Department of Justice published the American with Disabilities Act standards for accessible design in September 2010. Uh, these standards state that all electronic and information technology must be accessible to people with disabilities. So your textbook uh, companies are not necessarily liable to have the material ADA compliant. And so if you're teaching online, you and the school are going to be the, you know, justifier of whether the stuff is ADA compliant or not. So you want to be careful. Um, we prefer that you use pages because that is the easiest way to get content to be ADA compliant uh, and to organize it in such a manner that um, reads well for the readers that uh, students need that are uh, blind that need readers and also um, are visually impaired and also um, there's other um, uh, systems in place too. We'll talk about closed captioning for those who uh, can't hear video. Okay, uh, but you need to make sure that your uh, work is ADA compliant and so pages is a great way to verify that just using pages and you actually have what's called an accessibility checker in Canvas. Let me show you that. This is a basic page and I'm going to show you the accessibility checker in Canvas. So to do that I'm going to click on edit and in this particular page uh, you'll notice um, I can now edit, I could type anything in here. And I'm going to talk about this in a minute, but it's this little check accessibility button that I want you to see. If I click on that, notice it checks everything, the links, the pictures and everything, and it gives me this report that no accessibility issues were detected. 
Okay, that's our goal. Uh, Canvas's accessibility checker is good. It's not perfect, um, but we're trying to give you ways to to get closer to that goal of accessible pages. Okay, so um, let's move forward. And as we're creating pages today, we know uh, why we're supposed to be using pages. And now let's create some pages. So I'm going to go to a page and do a quick demo uh, because pages are your canvas in Canvas. <laughs> 